There is a breaking traffic alert. Chunks of concrete have fallen off an overpass at the I-45 southbound feeder road and Aldine Bender this morning. Sky 13 has been streaming coverage on the ABC 13 News app. Traffic anchor, traffic, uh, traffic anchor Catherine Whaley is here now with more. Well, this is really a scary situation for drivers trying to head southbound on 45, especially there on the feeder road with that falling chunk of concrete from the freeway main lanes down onto the feeder road itself. And again, this is right before you get to the beltway affecting Aldine Bender Greens Road, that area. So traffic there now blocked off on the ramp lane from 45 onto the beltway westbound and then also on the feeder road lanes. That, of course, is creating a big backup. Quick check up from Sky 13 traffic there in that area. Very slow and you can see that traffic is continuing to build. This will likely be a problem for a while today. I also want to send you out live or send you out to Jeff Ealing, who is outside giving us the very latest on where traffic looks like from ground level. Catherine, we've reported on these things many times in the past, but I cannot remember a piece of concrete that large falling from any piece of interstate or section of interstate in our area. I don't think I've ever seen something quite that large fall uh, down onto the feeder road that came from the exit ramp from 45 southbound to the beltway westbound. It was supposed to be up there. You can see there's some pipes up there that have uh, broken loose and fallen as well. That handles the rain that comes uh, in our area and then it funnels that rain off down onto the feeder road. But that piece of concrete, we don't know why it fell, but we can tell you that after it hit the feeder road, a guy was coming down the feeder road to work in his pickup truck and slammed right into it. I was driving to work on my way to work and I don't know where that big old piece of um, concrete, I guess might have just fell, fell off the bridge or what. And I hit it and then when I stopped, and I don't know exactly what, what it was until after me and um, a guy that stopped and see if I was on around the track, the trailer, and we looked up and part of the bridge had collapsed. So I spoke with Carl Keller a few moments ago. He says that he cannot come by this road anymore without thinking about what has happened and the fact that more concrete potentially he doesn't know could fall onto the roadway. And he also said that while the concrete was already on the roadway, he shudders to think what would have happened had his truck been passing as it was falling. As you can see, this is a massive piece of concrete. He's very thankful that it did not hit his vehicle as it fell down. Instead, it was already on there. He said it was dark when this happened. He simply could not see that massive chunk of concrete. It blends in very well with the roadway. He had no idea it was there until he ran into it. Jeff Elin, 13, I would assume. Oh, such a scary sight there. So thankful that he is okay as well as those other drivers. And we will continue to update this on ABC13.com. Stand by. I'm Courtney Fisher reporting in Southwest Harris County where a crime scene is just wrapping up. We are right now near Beech Nut and South Derry Ashford. This, these evidence markers are all up and down Ashford Green Lane, of course, marking more than two dozen shell casings. A 14 year old was shot while he was trying to sell an iPhone to a person. Deputies say that he met on Instagram. The team came here with two adults, a pregnant woman and a man. The man grazed in the back by a bullet. The pregnant woman was not hurt. Investigators say the shooter, the person allegedly buying the phone, actually stole it and then got away somehow in a gray car. At this point, the sheriff's office does not have a detailed description of the possible shooter. As for that 14-year-old, we know he is in the hospital this morning. For now, reporting in southwest Harris County, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Courtney. Let's take you to some breaking news. The U.S. military now says Iran is lying about the reason it shot down that American drone. Overnight, Iran claimed the drone was flying in Iranian airspace. The Pentagon just released a statement calling it an unprovoked attack and that the drone, it says, was flying over international airspace above the Strait of Hormuz. The drone, similar to this one, was an unarmed surveillance aircraft. The shootdown will only escalate tensions in the region. In an ABC 13 exclusive, we're hearing from the fiance of that young woman killed in Dallas when that massive crane collapsed into an apartment building. He says it happened so fast. The first words out of my mouth were my fiance's name, Kirsten. And I don't know how many times I said her name. I was screaming her name. And I could not find her. 
28-year-old Kirsten Simone Smith was killed in that collapse. Body cameras worn by deputies in Florida captured them trying to calm a two-year-old boy as they arrested his grandma for buying heroin. I don't even care if this goes to court or anything else. Do you have anything else on you? No. Okay, because it's dangerous to him for him to even be around you, so that's why I'm making sure. Come here, buddy. That 43-year-old grandmother told deputies near Daytona Beach that she bought $20 worth of heroin. The child's mother later picked up the child. Well, the FIFA Women's World Cup continues today with the United States taking on Sweden in the knockout round. Team USA is tied with Sweden for the lead with two wins apiece. The U.S. advanced after a 3-0 victory over Chile. Today's game kicks off this afternoon at 2 p.m. Houston time. All right, let's check the weather forecast, Alita. All right, another round of dangerous heat across southeast Texas. Now we're seeing that heat advisory expanded to include our viewing area, to include Houston and Galveston with heat index values ranging anywhere from 106 to 120. 12. That will peak around 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Some of you may want to limit some of your outdoor activity and take the necessary heat preca precaution measures. As we get into the weekend, showers and storms will be firing up. The best chance of seeing those storms in your area will be Sunday and Monday. So the weekend, although that wet weather is coming back, it's not going to be a complete washout. Some stronger storms expected on Monday. Once we get past the storms, Saharan dust returns across southeast Texas along with some hotter weather beginning on on Wednesday. Catherine. Well, Lita, the big story this morning and today is that falling chunk of concrete from 45 North onto the feeder road lanes of 45 right before you get to the Beltway. And this is causing major delays for drivers. Very scary situation out there for those people who pass by that huge chunk of concrete. Let's send you to the sky video that we captured. Want to give you a look at this from up in the air. Traffic, of course, continuing to be impacted by this. The freeway lanes connecting you from 45 onto the Beltway are currently blocked off. That ramp is shut down, as is the feeder. And as long as those are closed, you'll see a big impact on the 45 main lanes as well. So as long as this continues to be an issue, take the Hardy Toll Road as an alternate route. And that's it for ABC 13 Eyewitness News this morning. For the latest news and headlines, download the ABC 13 mobile app. Have a good day.